CBS 4 Sports, Cover 4, High School Football in the Valley. Hey there, hope you're having a fantastic Friday night and welcome to Cover 4 on a CBS 4. Well, some schools begun, began district play, others are still playing non-district matchups. Our game of the week has taken us to far for a non-district battle between Hannah and a PSJ. Been a rough go for both teams so far this year. Only one combined win through six games. Hannah beat Sherryland back in week two. The winless Bears edged to Hannah last year by a final score of 37 to 20. For more on tonight's game, we send it over to Blake Holland. Blake, how are things shaking out there in FAR? Doing good, Ruben. Thank you so much. Like you said, coming at you live from PSJ Stadium, the site of our week four game of the week. PSJ taking on Hannah. Now, like you mentioned, only one win between these two teams combined so far this season. And the Bears especially wanting that first win of the season at home tonight. A homecoming affair for PSJ as they host the Golden Eagles. So you know they've got that extra motivation to get the win done tonight. Not a lot of action early though so late first quarter Hannah moving the ball Ramiro Ruiz the third looking downfield he connects with Joey Godinez setting up the Eagles in the red zone it takes all four downs for the Golden Eagles to find the end zone start of the second quarter Ruiz hits Christian Espinosa in stride Hannah breaks the nothing nothing ball game now QB Jaime Lopez gets going himself in the second quarter first he hits Caleb Salas. Salas, ooh, takes some ankles right there with him for the first down. Later in the drive, Lopez out of the gun, rolling to his left, looking for a receiver. Jorge Alaniz secures it inbounds. Bears take the 7-6 lead after the PAT. PSJ, they get the ball back after a Hannah punt and first play from scrimmage. Lopez dials it up to Emiliano Fraga. Fraga tiptoes the sideline he could go all the way touchdown psja bears lead 14 to 6 late in the half but hannah has something to say about that ruiz dumps it down to marcio garcia garcia takes some defenders with him until he is finally dragged down then it's ruiz to espinosa Hannah now inside the five. We got six seconds left in the first half and final play from scrimmage. Ruiz says, I'll keep it myself. The QB sneak is good to make it a 14 to 12 PSJ lead at the half as the Bears go on to win this ball game 35 to 12. Now the Bears shutting out Hannah in the second half, giving up no points. And you know Jaime Lopez and that explosive offense would get going with a bunch of chunk plays to finally break away with a 35 to 12 win. Now that'll do it for me here in FAR reporting at PSJA Stadium. Blake Holland, Valley Sports Central. Ruben, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Blake. A solid victory for the Bears of PSJA. Now we'll focus on a district matchup. McAllen Memorial hosting Avella District, a 15-5A division opener for both teams. Memorial looking to get back to the playoffs after missing out last year for the first time in a bunch of years. Vela, on the other hand, hoping for a more convincing performance after Wessico East took the Sabercats down to the wire Last week, both teams loved to run the football. Bella running back Jamal Polly ran for more than 300 yards last week against the Wildcats. We'll pick it up in the second quarter. Memorial QB came Coy out of the gun with plenty of time. He hits a Dylan Goodson in stride. Goodson takes it to the house for six. Mustangs take a six and nothing a lead. And we mentioned him before, Pauly picking up where he left off last week. He gets to the near sideline and finds at the end zone Sabercats up a 7-6. to six. Memorial responds right away, very next drive. Coy surveying the field on nothing downfield, so he'll keep it himself. Touchdown, McAllen Memorial. The Mustangs will go for a two. After the touchdown, they pitch it to Sebastian Aleman. And Aleman will make it in for the two-point conversion. Memorial up 14 to 7. Right before halftime, Vela looking to tie the ball game up. Miles Lopez looking for someone. He finds a Jackson Shoup. 
who makes a move and he's off uh, to the races. Sabercats tied at 14. Heading into halftime, Bella goes on to win 31 uh, to 27. Plenty of more highlights coming up after the break, including a clash between neighboring towns, Mercedes hosting La Feria. 100 points total in last year's contest. We'll have those highlights after the break. This week's a Friday Fanatic are coming to us from PSJ Stadium. The Bears students getting rowdy for a homecoming. Great stuff out there in FAR. Welcome back to Cover 4 on CBS 4. We'll kick off our second block with a clash between La Feria and Mercedes. 100 total points in last year's matchup as the Lions won 53 to 47. La Feria entering the game with a 1 and 2 record. Mercedes 0 oh and 3. Let's uh, check out the highlights from Mercedes, Mercedes home stadium. The Lions at defense going over some assignments. Now onto the action on the field. The first quarter Lion QB, Andrew Rivera, who missed us sometime earlier this year, dropping back to throw, slings it to the outside. Check out Joaquin Trevino make a Tiger tumble with the juke. He stays on his feet and gets tackled at the 21 Lions inside the 10. Rivera throws a dime right into Larry Martinez's breadbasket. Touchdown Lions, but the PAT is a no good later in the quarter. Mercedes QB Sebastian Villarreal will hook up with Jose Garza. He strolls in for the touchdown. Mercedes up a seven to six. Second quarter now, Tigers at the La Feria 11 yard line. Sweep goes to Diego Bravo. He's taken down just a shy of the goal line. That leads to this. A Tiger is given to Isaiah Castro. He rumbles in for the score. Mercedes up 14 to 6. Tigers up big at last check. Actually, it's a final. Mercedes wins a 42 to 6. Over at Benny Laprad Stadium, Donna hosting at Couch Elsa. The high scoring Redskins held a 17 points last week by PSJ Memorial. Ed Couch Elsa, on the other hand, scored 56 against Rivera. Donna and Ed Couch Elsa entering tonight's game with a 2 and 1 records.
Head out to Donna first quarter action. The Yellow Jackets buzzing in the red zone. They go to the ground game. The Redskins force a fumble, but Isaac Estrada pounces on the pigskin in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Tough break for the Redskins defense later in the contest. Yellow Jackets in the red zone again. Direct snap to Gabriel Avila. He bounces it to the far side of the field, and no one's going to take him down. Touchdown, Ed Couch Elsa. La Maquina Maria looking like a well oiled machine. Adana on offense now inside the two. Jeffrey Lefevre, the big fella, sneaks it in for the score. But Ed Couch Elsa's run game able to move the ball with ease all night long. And Donna, Yellow Jacket QB Elijah Trevino keeping it himself and diving in for the score. Oh, high scoring game out there in Donna at last check. Donna up a 43-37 in the fourth quarter. We'll have more highlights after the break, plus an inside look at Wessico East of football on Mike Up with Coach Michael Burgett. That's next after the break. Clark Chevrolet. Welcome back to Cover 4. Let's step away from the highlights and put the spotlight on Wessico East head football coach Mike Burgett on Mike Dup. Coach, take it away. Week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, all non-district games. We put a schedule for you guys second to none. Let me see some playmakers. I know how many we got on offense. You guys do too. Make it happen. Make it happen. Be a team. Be a team. Let them hear it. Eastside! Let's go to work. I know it don't seem like a lot of wind, but it is a lot. So when they kick it, that ball's probably going to drift a little bit this way. Bring in the two guys next to you guys in, and we'll bring the outside guys in. That's how we start the whole time. No, then when they break, we break. Yeah. You, Pompa, you, you're in the backfield. You're in the backfield, Pompa. Your ball. You don't 
the kick is up. Do I have to go for two? We got to jam the OB. And number one went nuts here, and you guys didn't call nothing. You got one personal foul because you won't listen to my coaching. You get a second one, you're done for the game. Go, 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 go. Get a lot out. You don't think you got hit early in the back, honestly? No, okay, okay. I'm just asking. We need to play right now. Listen to me. They're both doing it. Trash talk. Yes, sir. Cuss work? Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Well, we got district next week. I'd hate to see a guy get tossed. Thank you very much, Coach Brigette. East side, a strong side. The Wildcats beat Edinburgh 34 to 21. Coach Brigette's team opening district play next week against Harlingen South. And speaking of the Hawks, uh, South closing out non-district against the Rivera Raiders. Both teams one and two on the season. South picked up its first win of the year last week against Hanna. To Bogus Stadium we go. Second quarter action, Harlingen and South on the move. A QB Dylan Anaya hands it off to David Sanchez, and he gets to the end zone for the touchdown right there for the Hawks. Still in the second quarter, Anaya finds Yanni Cabrera, and he will be wide open, like super wide open. He goes in for the score. Sprinters finish. Touchdown to Harlingen and South. Still in the second quarter. Nice celebration right there. A little dunk action. A little windmill right there. And Cielo Valle with a field goal for South. They're up 24 0. Let's go to the second half of the game. Rivera QB Manolo Perez picked off by Marquez Garza. Right there. That's a shutout right there for the Hawks. Two straight wins for South. They went 24 0. And like we mentioned, they'll have a big game next week against Wessico East.
Welcome back. Uh, Thurindo Wesleco going on the road to take on uh, Sherryland. Let's hit the highlights over at Richard Thompson Stadium. We'll pick it up in the second half. Radler is looking to get something going on offense. Quarterback Bo Krell gets out of the pocket and uh, takes off. Nice pickup right there by the Radler QB later in the game. Radler is punting from their own territory. The Panthers get a nice return to set him up inside. Good territory right there. In the Sherryland territory, that leads to this. Andres Apulveda finding the end zone. The Westlake Panthers remain undefeated. They win at 28 to 7. And that's, that does it for this week's Cover 4. We'll see you again next Friday. Have a good night.